Hi guys, Daniel and John here, and uh, welcome back to another one of our product review videos. And as you can see, we're going to be reviewing a couple of Energizer lights, uh, camping lanterns. They're different models. Uh, we'll just run run you through the features of each, um, just in case you're thinking of buying one. So this red one here, that's the model number of that one. And the green one, which is this one, the model number is that one. So we'll take a look at the red one first. So basically the red one is a non-rechargeable camping lantern that offers USB charging functionality and free light modes. It comes in this nice box. So if I pop that. This one here takes the big uh, D batteries, three of them, and also it can also take three smaller double AA batteries, but obviously with the D batteries that'll give you more uh, time on the light and also if you're charging a smartphone so, so let's just look what's included just a little thank you thank you for choosing energizer lights uh, this is the obviously the one we're looking at it's got a smartphone there with plugged in a USB cable the, the USB cable isn't included USB charging cable um, Oh, that's just one-sided. So the USB charging cable is for phones and things not to charge the light up. Yeah, so the, yeah. So the light, the lot, this particular one takes batteries for power. Um, it's not for charging the batteries up, so as you'll see. Already pop three in. So in the bottom, it's got these big D batteries, but it's also on the bottom of it, got the option for um, little AA batteries, yeah, and this just screws basically. on those little batteries. So we put... Yeah. Three little batteries in there just, just for, for the video. And it just screws on, it's a good fit. Uh, on And it locks into place where it should go, which is good. It's got a nice rubber shroud around yeah. it. So if it gets bumped. So then we'll just, it's got a nice carry handle. handle. Obviously, it can sit on the table or, or you could hang it up with something on the handle. There you see it's got three light settings. So it's full bright, sort of reading light, and then sort of a night light. So if we turn the light off here, we can probably, so that's full light, that's light, a reading light, and that's night light, that's night quite light. good. Yeah. And we'll turn that back on. And they do, it does output a lot of light even with the three little AA batteries. And the USB port is there. Yeah. So you can charge your phone up off it, provided your batteries are fully charged. Yeah. Charge. <coughs> I guess the best thing with this is to get some rechargeable batteries the charger and keep yeah. it charged up so really that's that's it. it's quite substantial light um, it's not that heavy it's quite solid it sits somewhere um, can't really say a lot more about it to be honest it is what it is there's a picture showing it charging the phone up or something 500 lumens which is a fair bit obviously that depends on how charged your yeah. the batteries are on it 30 hours runtime on the high mode apparently, 30 hours for the full brightness That's and 90 hours runtime on the low mode and as you can see there's the Different batteries. batteries. So okay. all in all I'd say a really good substantial product, uh, ideal for camping, shed. So <coughs> 2022, not saying it's going to happen, but we're talking about potential power cuts, who knows, storms. It's just great to have around for the kids, especially with the night light thing. Um, how much was this? Can you uh, that was about, I think about £15 at the time of making this video. Uh, on Amazon, we'll pop a link on there for it if you're interested yeah. in it. Uh, these are fairly waterproof by the looks of them. So yeah, it's got to be 10 out of 10 because it is as advertised. So just to run works. you through that one, through this, the, the, the red one before we go on to the green one, this one here takes batteries, the big D batteries, three big D batteries or three AA batteries. Um, it, it can charge your phone up depending how much juice the batteries have got or if they're the big ones I guess, but you can't charge it off a USB cable. So that's the cheaper version. We'll move on to the slightly more expensive one which to be honest is in its pack now we haven't charged it up or touched it so let's check this one out so this the difference with this one here is it has a built-in battery and apparently can charge I think it can charge can it charge your phone 
Let's let's check that out. I'm not sure if that can or not. Let's see what it can I, I can't, can't remember. Do. To be honest. So how much was this one approximately? About twenty plus pounds. A little bit more. A little bit more money. So we're coming out with a, a light. Um, so it's indicated. So it can charge a device. As as can that one. Um, it's got a weatherproof rating, IP4X. It's got four modes apparently, it's dimmable. And the intensity, you can manage the intensity, you can hang it up at the top. So let's um, check this out. And it does come with a USB charging cable, it's a micro USB. The base comes off. The base comes off, not sure why. But... So. Let's just check this out. This is the first time we're looking at it. So that's the little carry handle, but you can hang that somewhere. Uh, it's I'd got the lantern type design. I'd say immediately this handle is not as comfortable as the other one we've had, but it's a handle. Um, it's wire, it's thinner. Uh, Don't think you need to unscrew no, that. No, yeah, it just unlocks. So, so at the back you've got, you've got a USB port. So we just got, obviously got this out of the box. So with this cable, you can charge a phone and charge it. So you charge it by plugging this little one in here, and onto a USB charger, or you plug the USB onto there into your phone. So that's that bit covered. That's fairly good fit. And something on the bottom as well. What is this on the bottom? Oh, it looks like you can hang it upside down as well. Oh, that's a good feature. So okay. it's even got like a little locking. Definitely well. good feature. It won't, won't come off. Okay, so let's test the lighting. Now we haven't charged this up, we've got the straight out of the box, so let's just give it a test see if it'll come on. So we'll turn, wow. the, we'll turn the light off. That is bright. So, let's just see if there's any other modes. Yeah. Yeah, sort of a, a nice. The light. button lights up as well, which is nice. Yeah. So it looks like it's got two modes full bright. And sort of a night night light, and that's it. So you can you can adjust the intensity of it as well. So how do you do that? Do you, do you put it on the full brightness? Is there anything you can twist on it? Can you like can you twist the top bit on it? Does that control it? No. Okay. So it does say. has four modes really? and it does say dimmable intensity I wonder if you hold the button down whether okay, it does let's it. Let's try it again. Yeah. As I'm maybe it's just a pre maybe it's just a oh that's like an SOS light. So you need to hold it down a couple of times. Oh it is going down. I don't know if you can see in there. Those uh, no, LEDs, the but yeah. there's a ring of LEDs, and as you, there's two on. Okay. There's the two on. So you would you hold it for a couple of seconds and come yeah. off it? Is that how yeah. it works? Okay. Okay. So. It's off. Right, okay. Okay. So it does have the yeah. mode, you just need to keep it in for a, a second or two. And it does have the SOS uh, yeah. function as well. Yeah. So, as you can see, there's the two different lanterns there. Um, we've, we've discussed that one, but this one here is rechargeable, which personally I think is the better option. But it is. Um, I think the pros and cons to, to these, I think um, personally, I think this one that takes the batteries is more user friendly. It's got what settings you've got it on there. Yeah. It's more comfortable to hold. It's more stable on the base as well. Yeah. Um, obviously, hasn't got a handle underneath. But you can hang it at the top. You can, yeah, but but this one's got a handle underneath. Yes, yeah, so you can hang it upside down. Upside down, if you want to. Top of the tent, yeah. Um, it's okay. Handle's not as comfortable. It's wire. Is it like got a wire with like a, a, like coating, a, a on coating on it? Yeah. It's smaller. That might be an advantage to put in your, your rucksack or your bag. Yeah. 
um, and it can be charged up it needs to be charged up off a USB port it doesn't take batteries or sort of a car charging cigarette yeah. lighter so but, yeah. that could be advantage or disadvantage where this one takes batteries and you can get batteries from anywhere and you could have a charger so personally my option I would go f for that one for easy if use. I was going camping I'd probably go for the left one just yeah. Because I'd have, I'd have a load of battery with me. And <coughs> if somebody's using it who's a bit younger, they'd understand those symbols there. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the one that I would go for. Um, I would say that the USB port on here, getting out, is okay. It's a little bit more difficult. That, but that's probably because it's new as well. Uh, it's on some yeah. sort of elastic, whereas this one... Just pops out. It's that nice just and easy. the one, on, the cheaper one on the left, just feels like just a, a almost product. a better product. But that one on the right has, yeah, has the recharging uh, functionality. Yeah. That one on the left feels like it is, is a better product. But yeah, I mean, I, I I would say for convenience and use, I'd, I'd go for the the cheaper one, the one in the red box, preferred to the green box. But, I mean, you could charge that off a solar panel, couldn't you, if you're out and about, if you yeah. have the kit, yeah. Right, yeah. okay guys, so we'll wrap this video up because it's, it's getting a bit long. But as I said at the start, if you are thinking about buying these lanterns, um, hopefully this video is helpful to you. Uh, we make these kind of videos all the time, so feel free to subscribe. And if you've got any questions, let us know below. Just one further point, if it's for an older person, mm -hmm. or somebody whose you know, hands are a bit funny, I'd go for this one. You know, if have got arthritis yeah. or something, that's one I'd go for. Right, thanks for watching.